Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another playthrough of Race for the Galaxy. Um, so here we have uh, an interesting choice. Um, if I had a, uh, a more expensive starting world, uh, I might be tempted to go with Doomed World, but because I have this one cost um, windfall world, military windfall wor world, I think I'll go with Epsilon Eridani. Um, I'll probably discard that and maybe Spaceport. Uh, and I'll try to get down Rebel Sympathizers and then trade on the first turn. Although he could also be tempted to go with the Settle Call here. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of tempted to go with Trade and Produce. Um, hoping that he goes with Settle and Trade. Um, but I think I won't risk it for this one. I'll, uh, I'll just go with Settle and Trade. So it would have paid off. It would have paid off, unfortunately. So if we had it done that, I would have had another good here ready to go. Um, good news is I have a develop, and that would allow me to get down Rebel Warrior race. So perhaps I go with develop and produce here hoping that he calls settle yep um hmm let's get rid of consumer markets so I'll be able to get out rebel warrior race uh, and I think Rebel Underground on his settles. So that should be that should be pretty good. And then we'll have two goods ready to go for next turn. So we'll be able to trade one, probably the green one, and uh, use the blue one for Epsilon Eridani. So he's gone with investment credits, that's a pretty good uh, development for him. Uh, let's go with Rebel Warrior Race here. And then we should be able to put out Rebel Underground as well, which actually works out quite well. So we'll get a card off that and a card off this and also a blue good. And then we can maybe get Genetics Lab, which will give us an extra card for trading. So, um, yeah, I think we go trade or develop and trade. Um, we'll get down genetics lab if he calls settle we'll still be able to get down refugee world because it's a free card um, so I think that's that's probably the best play so yeah he's gone with a settle call and I think we go with that Um, perhaps we'll be able to get that and that down for two settles we could just go settle and trade here and trade this so still not uh, no big six cost card um, we'll be able to get perhaps we could have gone uh, I probably should have uh, gone with the produce call there. Although he has gone produce, so we will benefit from that. So let's go with damaged alien factory, I think. We'll, we'll have a, a green good and we can discard for a yellow good um, next, based on his produce call. Improve logistics is quite a strong card to Okay, so that six cost isn't particularly good for us. And we will 
discard, I think, this. Yeah. Um, we could, if he goes with a double settle, we could actually finish it by playing improved logistics. Um, so I think we probably want to go develop, develop. Hmm. I think I'll go with probably develop and trade because we're still very low on uh, high scoring cards here. So we just hmm. let's go develop trade we can respond to a settle with, uh, by getting that out for free. Yeah, so if we go that, um, that and, uh, oh, that. We should we'll hopefully be able to rush the finish here. Um, if we get former penal colony out, and maybe another one, then we'll get a trade. Um, got a good uh, a good six cost card there close um, I think I will so we have one so if I go with this we would get another point so I think I'll do that He does not have any consumes there. So I'll go with that. Still nothing. Hmm. Try that and that. So I think here I'm probably going to go with Space Marines and discard uh, one card to get rid. So if we go develop and settle should be able to get the rebel base out so he's gone develop and trade I'm afraid he's gonna get a pretty high scoring card here um, yeah I think we this is gonna be the highest that hurts uh, so he's he's won it hmm Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think uh, we. I thought we had some good card flow, but I mean, we didn't really get a good uh, six cost development to to focus on. Um, so I'm not really sure um, how I could have uh, played that differently. Um, I mean, we could, the highest scoring card we can get out is a, it's not going to help us. So yeah, it's, uh, that was a, a tricky one. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts on that. Um, I mean, he got a couple of, like, SETI, like that was a good, very good draw for him. Um, like without that, we would have been quite competitive here um, and he had another six cost as well so yeah that was um, a tricky game um, kind of yeah I'll, I'll need to I need to think about that a bit more um, 
not getting the six cost developments are, are pretty punishing unless you have other high high scoring uh, uh, worlds to settle. So maybe if I had another, s s um, uh, I think there's a seven cost rebel world as well, um, which gives seven points. And um, yeah, this I'd be interested to hear anyone's thoughts on this one. So that's the game. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for joining. Uh, I'll show you the ending. Um, tableau for my opponent. Uh, so yeah, there's decent decent uh, high scores in SETI, obviously, and then New Galactic Order as well. Um, there's ours. Um, yeah, improved logistics was a good card, but uh, unfortunately, it just didn't didn't pay off for us. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts. Otherwise, I uh, hope you can join again next time. Thank you.